Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. We are doing my top 10 worst books of 2023, but we're going to do it with a big twist. Something I've never done on this channel and is going to really put me to the test because I have already ranted about these books in reading vlogs or maybe rant reviews that are solely dedicated to them because that's how much vitriol I have for it that I felt like expressing it in its own dedicated video. So I've already put a lot of hatred out toward these books. And these happen to be hot takes. Um, a lot of these are books that might be a favorite, might be a favorite of yours, or that you at least really enjoyed and would want to defend. So what I decided to do is I'm only going to give myself one minute for each book. So I'm going to have a timer. I'm going to have 12, I guess in total, alarms set on my phone. And I can talk about that book. And then the second the timer goes off, I cannot say anything else. I have to move on to the next book. And we're gonna do this consecutively. I'm not gonna cut, stop, come back. No, it's Bus, club, another club, club another, another club, club, hotel, club, bar, another club, another club, plane, club. Next place. Do you know what I'm saying? But like roasting edition. It's gonna be like the speed dating, but a book roasting. Okay, <sighs> let's start. Oh my gosh, is that awkward waiting for the first timer to start? Because I don't know how long a minute takes, okay? And these are not notes. This is just a list. Oh of my God, oh, okay. okay, it's happening. Let's calm down, let's calm down. It's okay, uh, because the first book, it's a manga and I don't really have much to say. It's Kassane, volume one. I don't know who the author is and I don't care. I'm never gonna read anything from them again. The art style was terrible. Um, she had this weird pointy nose. And legitimately, she put lipstick on that was magical and she would kiss people to steal their face because she thought she was ugly. And I was like, how are we going to have more volumes? Is she just going to keep stealing people's faces? Like, I feel like that got old and it was volume one. But nobody's read this book. Literally no one's read this manga. It has like 400 ratings and it came out a while ago. So if you ever see it in the store, if you ever stumble across it, don't seek balance. Do not seek balance. Keep stumbling to another book or stumble into a hole. Because that would probably be better than reading this. Oh my fucking God, she fucking did. Let me just take the rest of the time to um, sip on my cocktail. Oh Ooh. my God. Look alive, ladies. Okay, Project Tomiri. This is what I want to say. Um, I don't like men that think they're funny. Headshot. That think they're funny. I hate the humor in Project Hail Mary. It is so abrasive and uh, he's like, gosh darn it, shucks. What are you talking about? And you're telling me that this middle school biology teacher is gonna save the entire human race? Like what, it's just this hidden gem amongst a pile of randos and he's like oh my god i have a fresh perspective i'm like totally different than all the other guys like i'm like not like other dudes and i'm gonna use that to somehow like solve global warming or like stop the sun from exploding or something i don't know and when he meets that other character and then he has to take a nap talks to them for like legit like two minutes if that and then has to take a nap you could not move heaven or hell to get me to stop from talking to that character what do you mean you need a nap? I'm about to end this man's whole career. Exactly. What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. Um, this man went to Sephora while she was asleep, bought a bag full of makeup that somehow exactly matched her skin tone. He knew exactly what he was doing and he applied it precisely, but with like no explanation as to how he was able to do that. And also why is he putting makeup on her? What is making out and having sex with somebody that has a black eye a problem? Oh, that's really what we should be focusing on in the midst of all this death and courtroom mishaps. Oh, and also this main character, if she talked about herself being broken one more time, I swear my chemical romance was gonna spawn from the pages of this book and start immediately into a six hour set that only consisted of I'm not okay on repeat over and over and over and over again until I myself got a swoop bang okay this girl got stabbed how many times and you're telling me she she forgot she for, she forgot and then went her whole life you stupid that's right hellbent hellbent by leeward you go it's not that it's poorly written it's the what was it all for that did me in tell me two things that happened in hellbent that further the plot oh i'll wait i'll use the minute i'll wait because you can't because nothing 
fucking happens. Nothing happens. We spend the entire book trying to solve the cliffhanger of the first book, which is just a side quest that barely does anything that's going to change the context of the story. So what is the third book going to be about? We are two books into a trilogy and I can't tell you the trajectory of the series. And you know what's really, really sad? Is I don't think Lee Bardugo can either. Like legitimately tell me what's going to happen in the third book. What's going to happen? And also Darlington's glowing dick. Like why did we go from being like freshman year of college to now we're talking about flaming red shining glowing dicks? Like also vampires? Like when did that happen? This shit I'm out. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Um, Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. I have a video about it. I have a video about it. Every single one of these guys will not shut up about how the character is underage. She's 16. Why? Why does Penelope Douglas have an underage kink? She really does because in all of her books, they're either in high school or they're almost legal or just barely legal. I like children. And the guys are all legal and they're looking at her like, oh my God, she's way too hot to be 17. Like, I don't think I could wait until she's legal. Like, why are we romanticizing that? I don't understand. And also they burn her house to the ground, they kidnap her mom. And then they have the audacity to when they realize that they were totally wrong, be like, oh my God, that's so crazy what we did. Like, can you forgive us? And like, guys. And she's like, I would be like, you burned my house to the ground. Nar, that's a nar for me, love. But of course, of course she forgives them because she's 16 years old. Her fully frontal lobe. FBI, open up. Mm -hmm. um, how to sell a haunted house. This could all have been helped been saved if you could have just wrote the word puppet in the summary but no 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 no, you didn't write that we went into this book thinking it was about a haunted house and then on page 60 we get met with pupkin peewee herman's puppet like the peewee herman of puppets when i tell you this character's voice i at first was reading it physically then switched to the audiobook when i wasn't enjoying it i'm gonna play you his voice Kaka wee wee, kaka wee wee, pumpkin hum, pumpkin hum, pumpkin hum forever. Tell me that's not gonna haunt your nightmares. Tell me that is not gonna haunt your dreams. You should have just said puppets. You should have said that. We would have known what we were getting into, and I wouldn't have picked up the. Well, I would have picked it up because I love Grady Hendrix. But like, he was so cringy, like the cringiest villain I've ever read in a book. Like Pepkin. Bam, girl. I'm sorry, that was just a hell, hell rant on Pepkin. The Roanoke girls. Incest, incest. Why is it that every single woman and girl, child, every single female in this family is the exact same amount of gullible, is the exact same amount of falling for grooming and manipulating? Like, not that they wouldn't fall for it, but every single one and the exact same way. Why do all of them find this old man attractive? Like, also, the fact that the main character found him attractive before he even spoke? Like, he didn't even groom you. Nothing happened. He didn't even see you. You looked at him. What are you talking about? That's Grand Papi. These white men are dangerous. What are we doing here? And also the main character is so, I'm not like other girls. And then her f***ing cousin is like, oh my God, like you're hot. Almost as hot as me. That's dangerous. Like, I'm sorry. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Also, it's terribly written. It's a terrible writing. Like you cannot look me in the eyes and say that Amy Engel. Target neutralized. Sorry. Billy Donovan jumps the gun. Stephen can f Daddy. off. It is on Daddy. sight with Stephen Donovan. I hate this man more than I have ever hated a character. I swear to God, the gall and the gumption that Al Casameno has to have this man not only repeatedly for years, if not from the beginning, be cheating on Finlay, then to leave her and her two kids to marry a younger woman who he's also cheating on, leave Finlay penniless, unable to take care of her kids, constantly potting her kids off, her kids off on her, and then the goal and the gumption for El Casamino to have Finlay feel bad for him, to have sexual thoughts about him, to even think about letting him back into their lives. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Also, why does every single male character think that Finley is the hottest thing since like sliced bread? Like they all want to, her? Why? She is stale toast. Finley is stale toast. She you kiss your mother with that mouth? That one could have, I could have gone on forever. There are no saints. I have an entire rant review for this. Go watch it. This man really 
pulls up this girl's sleeve where she has self-harm scars from when she was in high school and says that it's her fault that she got abducted, that these self-harm scars are a beacon to all predators that she used to hurt herself and she wants them to come and hurt her too. Not the victim blaming, not that you asked for it. In 2022, when this book was written, Sophie Lark, straight to jail. He calls her a gutter rat, a gutter rat. He says that she's pathetic and desperate for being a waitress. I'm a waitress. I'm sorry, just at me, Sophie Lark. Like legitimately just at me, what are you talking about? And then also, if this girl had had a degradation kink, I could have slurped this up. If she had been down to clown, I could have slurped this up. But no, 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 she was not okay with this until he pulled out the checkbook. And I was like, okay, Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, what are we doing? Like, yeah, he's got money, but that doesn't mean that he should be able to like- You're the last one, complete the mission. Mm -hmm. And the last one, we all know what it's gonna be. We all know. <sighs> I have an entire rant review about this. Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This book is bad. It's poorly written. It is so poorly written. Where's the world building? Oh, you didn't miss it. It's not there. There isn't any. This character is supposed to be 20 years old. She reads like she's 14. And then you get like 75% of the book and there's a graphic sex scene. All of a sudden, you've been reading like this girl's 12, 14 years old. You get to that graphic sex scene. All of a sudden, somebody's knocking on your door. It's the police. You're a pedophile now. FBI, open up! You have just been convicted of being a pedophile. What? Also, the dragon, when he's having sex with his female dragon and he infiltrates her mind and she can feel it. I was like, that's brain rape. Bombastic side eye. That's brain rape. What are you talking about? Also, she says for the win three different times. Tell me you're a millennial author without telling me you're a millennial author. And also this book, I'm so glad that everybody that read Iron Flame was like, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. I said what I said. I said what I said. Am I sweating now? Yes. Um, do I have any idea what just came out of my mouth for the last 10 minutes? No, I do not. Um, I hope it was interesting and entertaining for you. I'm sorry if this was not the worst books video that you wanted to see. I do have videos where I go into full discussion of these books. I will try and find all of them and link them all down below. Also talking about down below, you could subscribe to this channel. If you found this entertaining, you could like this video. That would also be very helpful. And if you want to follow me on Goodreads, Instagram, Patreon, whatever, they are linked down below. But what I want you to comment, okay, instead of an emoji, I want you to comment what your worst books of the year are, or if you've read any of these books and your opinion of them. It's okay if you loved them. I know a lot of people loved a lot of these books. <laughs> Okay, not me trying to like my own outro. Um, it's like like the, like the microphone lowering when you're at the Oscars. It's like, okay, and you're not gonna talk anymore. Okay, good night. Again, very sorry if I hurt anyone's feelings, but I feel like keeping it down to a minute made it a little bit easier to stomach. So if you loved one of these books, maybe this didn't make you as angry as I am. I was capable of doing. Okay, I hope that wherever, that is not how I start my intro. My outro. Bruh. Oh my god, Katie! You missed two deadlines. Okay, listen, that we're gonna get together. We're gonna get together. I hope that you are having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye. I lie, Barry, darling. <laughs> because reading is what? Fundamental! Try to play it, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all